Right. Have you called my name yet? What was the name? I know, and then I got scoliosis all over my legs. Do you remember that? <laughs> what a nightmare. One second. Okay. I know. I No, sadly, it's incurable. No. 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 Hi, there's two of us. Oh, excuse me. I was actually right here. Oh, good God. Oh, I didn't realize you were in line. One second. I'm just waiting to find out if you've called my name. Right, and I'm just waiting for you to tell me your name. Tori, I told you this. Did you? Must have missed it. Uh, nope. We haven't called your name yet, but we will soon. But he was only suspended four times. I don't see what the problem is. What? I said we haven't called you yet. Well, do you know about how much longer? No, no, I'm not talking to you. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how is she? I haven't seen her since she died. Do you mind moving aside so I can help the woman behind you? We'll be calling your name shortly. Just make sure you're listening. What? I need you to move. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'm just waiting for a table. Yeah, no, I got that. Did you call my name? Oh, suddenly Tori is off the list. Excuse me? You guys can follow me right this way. And then she broke six toes. <laughs> Uh-oh, hello? Does anyone work here? <laughs> Maybe it's one of those sit yourself situations. There's a few tables over there. Yeah, but I think we're supposed to wait. Oh, who's gonna stop me? <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. true. Ring, ring. Hello, this is the restaurant. Girl, why did you put two four toppers in my section back to back? I'm swamped and Katie has like no one. What? Can you hold on for just a moment? I only gave you one. Well, 2C and 2F were just seated back to back. I didn't sit those people. Well, I already took their drink order. I'm sorry, that's so weird. Um, excuse me. Yes, I ordered a water, but I'd actually like a shot of tequila. Uh, right. Uh, did someone tell you to sit at this table? Yep. Oh, okay. Do you remember who? Mm, no. Right. Okay. Oh, and we're gonna push some tables together because we have a couple more people coming. What do you mean a couple more people? Oh, well, my daughter's just having a few friends and her soccer team join us tonight. A few friends and a whole soccer team, as in a ton of fucking people. Yeah, but we're easy. We just want a couple hamburgers and maybe- Ew, some no, I want sushi. Oh, you want sushi? And oh, clams. Can I have fries? Maybe not, it might be a little bit more difficult than I thought. Okay, I'm gonna just tell you right now and be honest, I don't think anybody sat you here. I think you sat yourselves here and I do not have anybody that's gonna be able to host that many people at this time. No, no, we're sitting here. Yes, but you were not assigned this table and I don't believe anyone is just walking around the restaurant randomly seating people, especially in this one particular instance. And we need to know in advance if you're booking more than 10 people. It's all right, you don't have that many people here. Sure, but we are short staffed, so we are already taking on more than we can handle. <laughs> okay, we'll let you know when our party's here. Anyway, great, and I will let them know that we don't have availability for them at this time. Um, Hi, welcome in. Where's the party? Uh, you know, currently we actually don't have availability. Neither do I. What? It's time for me to set back my clocks. 8 a.m. sharp. Why does that girl keep coming in here? Unfortunately, we are out of chicken for this evening, so some of the items on the menu might be unavailable, but we can make anything else. Oh, that's no problem. Wonderful, what can I get you? A double chicken sandwich. Uh, actually, that's one of the items that we don't have available for this evening. Oh, uh, okay, then I'll have the uh, grilled chicken with rice. Yeah, no, once again, that's um, chicken. <laughs> you don't have that either? It's just the chicken that we don't have. Everything else we have, just not chicken. Could I just like add chicken to a pasta? I could do any pasta with shrimp, just no chicken. Well, what else do you guys have? Every single item on this side of the menu we have available. It's just this one category we don't have. <sighs> okay, uh, I'm just gonna do an appetizer. Yeah, absolutely. I think I'll do the wings. That's chicken. That's fine, I'll just do boneless. That wasn't part of the issue with that. I thought you said most items were available. The wings are the only chicken-based appetizer we literally have. Everything else, everything else is available. All right, I guess I'll just have a salad. Okay, great. I'll do a Caesar. I, I can do that. Oh, wait. Can I do that with grilled chicken? Oh, okay. Hi guys, my name is Sam. I'll be taking care of you this evening. Where's Stephanie? Oh, uh, you know, I don't think she's working tonight. What? How could that, how could that be? We only came here because we wanted to see Stephanie. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, when is she coming in? You know, I, I don't have that information. Well, can't you go look? Mm, no, I, I can't do that, but I'd be happy to take your drink order. Well, <sighs> Stephanie already knows our orders. Great. Well, if you tell me what you'd like, I can make sure it's made the exact same way. I don't know. Stephanie just knows us so well. I don't know what you want me to do here. <sighs> I guess we'll put in the drink order. Great. I'll take a water. Oh, okay. Would you like a lemon? <sighs> no. Okay. Anything else I could get you started with? <clears throat> well, Stephanie usually already has bread at the table. Right. It'll be right out. Oh, and make sure to tell Mac I say hi. Who? Mac? He's working tonight, right? He's the one that makes our food. 
I'm sorry, I don't know anyone by that name that works in the kitchen. Well, we come every weekend. We get the same meal, same server, same table, but I don't remember ever seeing you. Likewise, I'll be back. See, this is why I only trust Stephanie. Okay, two waters with no lemon. Oh, everything okay? No, you put ice in it. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you didn't want ice. Well, Stephanie knows. That's why we always go with Stephanie. Right, or you, you could have just told me. We'll just take our appetizers, thank you. Which appetizers? The crab cakes. Yeah, that's not on our menu. Yeah, I know that. We're aware of that. But Stephanie would always have them specially made for us. I, oh, what? And she always brings that little uh, dipping sauce. She does it every week. We don't even have the ingredients to make crab cakes. Well, maybe you can get Stephanie on the phone. I'm not calling her. Oh, no, it's okay. She'll understand. She knows us. Well, maybe you can text her then. No, she said she has one of those new phones that doesn't allow you to add new contacts. <laughs> I don't blame her. You know what? I'm sorry. I, I think we'll just come back when Stephanie's here. Mm, oh, no. Are you sure? Bummer. Well, you let Stephanie know we stopped by. She's such a great server. You guys could learn a lot from her. Oh, I know, right? I know. You know, I bet she'd train you in her free time. She's so sweet. Oh, well, thank you for for the advice. Hey, have you seen Stephanie? Yeah, she's in the kitchen. Why? This lady at the front is being like super pushy about being in her section. Oh God, is it a woman with really short hair? Actually, yeah. Oh God, no, 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 no. Wait, what are you doing? What, what does that mean? I'm not dealing with that. Why? What's, what is she? Hey, were you looking for me? Yeah, I just wanted to ask you about the woman over there with short hair. She really wants to sit in your section. Oh, jeez, no. What, why is everyone having that reaction? Can someone explain? She is obsessed with me. I just assumed she was your mom or something. No, and it's just easier for me to deal with her than for her to not get what she wants, so. Oh, no, 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 no. We're, we're ending this right now. Watch out, she scratches. I am so sorry, but Stephanie is actually not available this evening. Yes, she is. I already saw her walk by. Right, well, she is here. She's just not available at the moment. So I can sit you actually right out here. Posh, pish. Okay, what's the problem? She doesn't want to see us or something? <laughs> no, 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 it has nothing to do with that. It just simply is the fact that she's very busy because we're very busy. So I can sit you actually right over here. No, no, don't put her in my section. <laughs> I'd like the table I requested, please. Look, I'm telling you, she's just gonna torment everybody unless she sits in Stephanie's section. So just put her there. No, she can't just bully people when she doesn't get what she wants. It's fine, we'll just take a seat and once a table becomes available in Stephanie's section, we'll take it. Sorry, we just uh, don't operate that way. It, it, that's confusing, I can't do that. Well, I'd like to wait 45 minutes. Is, is this a trick? <clears throat> oh my God, here comes a party of 12. Oh, okay. Uh, well, this lady or the party of 12? Party of 12. I have 44 minutes left. To what? Until someone finishes eating in her section. <clears throat> Stephanie will never be available. Hmm. <laughs> We'd like a booth. Okay, we actually have a wait of about 40 to 60 minutes right now. Oh! You guys are busy. Yeah, it's always like this on Saturday night. Did you want me to put your name down? Oh, no, 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 it's okay. This is actually my mother's first time. Oh, well, welcome. Yeah, we thought we'd just sit down, get some drinks, just kind of see what this place is all about. Great, well, I can put you guys down. Oh, no, no, this is our first time here. We don't we don't even know if we like this place or if we want to wait for it. Okay, did you want some menus? Well, yeah, once we sit at our table. Okay, can I get a name? <laughs> What? We don't need a name. We just want to experience the place and sit down. Right, yeah, no, I can't do that. We actually have a lot of people waiting, so. Yeah, but they've all eaten here before. I don't know that to be true, and I don't even know the relevance of that. Mom, do you want a booth? Yes. Okay, inside or out? Under. Okay, we'll take an outside booth. Okay, uh, we don't even offer that. <laughs> okay. I'm a restaurant owner myself, and, you know, as first-timers, we'd kind of expect to have a grand experience, so you'd want us to come back. Mmm, <laughs> what's your restaurant? Oh, it's the Grub -a -Pot Grill right off the causeway. Oh, never heard of it. Probably because you spend your life on waiting lists. I'm not on a waiting list. You are. Uh, well, take my name off, because I'm not eating here. No, sorry, I can't take it off. I'll call your name in 45 minutes. <gasps> what have I done? I'll have a glass of Chardonnay. Perfect, and what can I get for you? Actually, I'll have the same. Great, do you mind if I just see your ID real quick? Yeah, of course. Oh, you're not gonna ask for my ID? <laughs> Mom, you always do this. Great, thank you. Guess I don't look young enough to be carded anymore. Oh, you know what? I'm so sorry, I just made a huge mistake. I'm brand new here and I totally forgot to ask for your ID. Wait, really? Yeah, so sorry to inconvenience you. <laughs> I haven't been carded in God knows how long. Let me see if I even have my ID. Take your time. Here? is my ID so you can card me. <laughs> I'm getting carded. I'm sorry, I can't accept this ID. What, why? Well, it says here that you're 55. Yes, 
No, sorry, can't be right because you don't look a day over 20. <gasps> oh my God. Really? Yeah, there's just no way this is a valid idea. I just can't accept it. Oh, you, <laughs> your father's gonna die when I tell him about this. This is, this is so funny. So no alcohol for you, young lady. Yeah, no, I just got carded. <laughs> they declined it. They said I look too young. <laughs> She said I look 20. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. But seriously, are you gonna bring me that glass of wine? Oh, yes, absolutely. <laughs> I have an order for Christina. Uh, what is this? That was a vanilla cold brew. That's not what I ordered. Really? Is your name Christina? No. Then I'm guessing this isn't your drink then. Oh, well, I thought the orders come out here. Yeah, they do. You just have to wait for your name. Okay. I have an order for Steven. Uh, no, that's not mine. I have an order for Lucy. Did you say Miranda? No, I said Lucy. Oh, I think you may have just spelled my name wrong. Have a nice day, ma'am. No, that was her order. Yours is probably up next. Well, how do you know? Because I can see it on the screen. Well, then how come you didn't make it? I'm standing right here. Okay, I have an order for Miranda right here. Miranda of a medium roast with cream and cinnamon. Miranda. <sighs> Ma'am, I believe this is your order. Well, why didn't you say so? I don't know. Hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's fine. Okay, are you mad at me? No, I'm not mad. Well, then why did you stop talking to me? Oh, well, I just realized that I'm always the one reaching out and it seems like half the time you don't even respond. So I just figured I'd give you some space. Oh, well, I mean, it's, you know, I'm just really busy. <laughs> yeah, same. And you know what? I get it. Everyone has their priorities. It's really okay. Well, I can't text you every day. It, that's okay. I, I wouldn't have expected you to text me every day. It's just I was the only one ever reaching out. And I can tell when someone's trying and, and when someone's not. You know, that's that's not true. I feel like I, I've texted you at, at first at, at some point here, right here on October 1st. Yeah, wasn't that when you sent me the GoFundMe link for your broken Stanley Cup and I told you I couldn't afford it because I had to fly to my grandpa's funeral and then you didn't talk to me or even ask if I was okay? <laughs> I got a new Stanley Cup, no thanks to you, in case you were wondering. It's not like you asked if I was okay either. Actually, I did. Hey, well, if you were really my friend, I think that you would be able to find a way to reach out to me and communicate that you're having an issue because how am I supposed to know you're having an issue if you don't say anything? <laughs> huh, well, on January 14th, it looks like I said, hey, haven't heard from you in a while and the last 14 messages I sent have gone unread. So is everything okay? Okay, I don't even remember that and I didn't come here to fight with you. I just wanted to talk to you because my wedding is coming up and I figured you'd want to know about it. Okay, that's great. I mean, are you really gonna make me beg? You know, I yes, I will be happy to come to your wedding. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, no, I meant do you mind if I send you our honeymoon fun? Just because it's gonna be a really small wedding. We can't invite everybody and it's just gonna be really, really close friends and family. So I figured, you know, if you still wanted to be included, especially since we haven't spoken in a while, it might be nice to, you know, send you the link. <laughs> Is that a no? Text me. Hi there, I need to pick up a prescription for a medication that I can't pronounce. Great, I do not have any prescriptions for you here today. Really? My dermatologist just sent over a new acne medication. Hmm, okay, well let me see. Ah, it looks like there's a block. What, why? D -d -d okay, it looks like your insurance doesn't wanna pay for it. Okay, well, neither do I. They don't understand why you need it. Oh, they're confused why my dermatologist prescribed me acne medication. That is correct. They're gonna need a pre-authorization before they can approve this medication. How about we just send them a picture of my face? Wouldn't that be good enough? <laughs> Very funny. Kinda not joking. Well, I can send over that pre-authorization or you could pick it up on your own today. How much would it be to just pick it up today? Uh, that would be $800. Oh, and 39 cents. I will be waiting for the doctor then. Great, I will send that over. And wow, I already got it back. That was so fast. The insurance still said no. So, what do you mean no? It looks like they don't believe that you need this medication. Oh, so a doctor works at this insurance company. <laughs> no. <laughs> then how would they have the authority to make that call? Ah, uh, well, we do have a bowl of mints right here. This might help you feel a little bit better today. Does help a little bit. That sugar is not gonna help that acne though. 
And have you dined with us before? No, this is our first time. Oh, well, welcome in. I can explain to you guys kind of how things work here. Wonderful, because we have no idea how this works. Well, here at the Bread Grill, we are best known for our breads and our grills. So I'm gonna go ahead and hand you our menu to flip through here. If you wanna go ahead and take a look at our entrees, my favorite is the fried bread. Oh, well, that is so convenient. We do like to keep it easy for you guys. Now, if you'd like to take a look at the top of your menu, you'll see our appetizers. My recommendation is the coleslaw bread as a shareable for the table. Coleslaw? That's so unique. Now here at the bread grill, we actually put in the order to the kitchen and then bring the food to you. Oh, wow. Well, we were voted best in town in 1801, so we do pride ourselves on that. Now let me go ahead and give you your silverware. Wow, they have silverware here. <laughs> you can always spot a first timer. You actually use that to eat your meal. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, if you guys need anything or have any questions, you can go ahead and flag me down. My name is Sam. I will personally come over and help you in any way I can. Oh, well, that is so easy. Thank you for explaining. Now, what happens at the end of the meal? Oh, great question. I'm glad you asked because we do it a little bit differently here. So once I bring you the bill, you'll go ahead and put down your method of payment. I will bring it to the register, process it, and bring it back to you. Makes sense. You guys got a good system. Thank you. And this might come as a bit of a surprise for our first timers, but we do bring complimentary bread to the table for you to enjoy. <gasps> and I will take your drink order. I have never experienced anything like this in my life. Man, it's busy on Tuesday. Finally, after asking for months, they put me on another shift. So I, oh, there's a family of four. Hi guys, welcome Hi. in. Is it just the four of you tonight? Yep, four. Okay, do you want to take them? Oh, no, you can take them. I'm good. So you do anything this weekend? Uh, no, I'm probably just going to stay really? in. Really? Yeah, I just want a quiet weekend. Not even on Sunday? Bye guys, thanks so much for coming in. We'll see you next time. I love how serious you are about this job. So I had a question to ask you, and you can totally say no. Okay. But I know you're free this weekend, and I actually have to go to Mardi Gras. Oh. Um, I know it's not really Mardi Gras right now, but they're actually having like a fake Mardi Gras down in the basement of my best friend's um, old hotel building. Sounds really weird. So, Honestly, I don't think I could do it this weekend. Well, you said you were free all weekend, Yeah, right? I, well, I mean, I... So I figured, you know, you'd want the hours. Thanks. Have you taken your lunch yet? No, I was about to. Do you care if I take mine first? This week is just like the worst week for them to give me hours. And unfortunately, next week I'm going out of town. So what about Wednesday? Um, I guess I'll do it if Kylie can. not Okay, yeah, I'll go ask her. It's okay. I totally get it. Grace said that she could actually cover for me if you couldn't. So Grace, you got that right. I don't know why they can't give equal hours. They literally give all the guys all the hours and you. You have like so many hours. I don't even understand. All right, I'll let you take these people. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I should have been a bartender. They make way more money and it looks so much more fun. Oh my God, how is it only six o'clock? Um, and you guys said that you had a reservation? Hi. Okay, perfect. What's up? Actually, I was going to let you know that I'm probably going to head out. Wait, you've only been here an hour. No, I know. It's just I've been feeling really, really gross. Like my stomach really, really hurts. And I think it's because I didn't get to eat my chicken tenders that I said I was going to eat that you didn't let me go have for Are lunch. Are you serious? Um, you're good with this weekend, right? Uh, Yeah, I guess. Okay, and probably I'll be back on Thursday. But if not, you can take that shift too, right? It's from 3 to 9. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I said I would do a double. <laughs> it's actually going to be 9 to 9. You're good with that, right? Thanks for covering me, girl. I love you. And you know I got you next time you need your shift covered. Actually, I'm trying to get somebody to take my birthday on the 15th. Um, it's the day after Valentine's you know, Day. No, actually, that's not a good day for me. You have you know, something? I'll have to get back with you, but, like, just text me. Oh, I don't think I have your number. Um, okay. Attention, flyers. We are getting ready to touch down on the land so we can land on the land. So turn off your phones and stuff, okay? When will the flight be going back? Um, I'm sorry, back? Back is that way. You should know directions. Uh, well, this flight uh, won't be going back. We are scheduled to head into Texas next, I believe. So, But I bought a round trip. So when are we going around? Do you happen to have your ticket available? Maybe I can help you out. It says around the sun in 80 days. Okay, so it looks like you scheduled your flights a week apart. So your next flight would actually be departing next Saturday. Is it at 8 a.m.? Uh, no, actually, it's for 4.07 p.m. Um, excuse me, I'm not available for that flight, thank you. Understood. Well, once we touch down, I'd be more than happy to point you in the direction of someone that would be able to help you. I can only fly between 8 a.m. and 8 a.m. Mmm. Sounds unique. <laughs> Tell the pilot to hook a UE and step on it. Uh, well, you know, that's just not how planes work. It will if you go fast. Still no. Well, unfortunately, I can't be in this city. Then why the hell did you come here? I didn't. I wanted to go home in a big circle. Were you assuming that you were just going to spend the day on this aircraft and fly around the United States until we brought you home? No. Kind of sounds like you did. Thank you. You're fired. Okay. Well, would you like a juice box? I'll take the box. Hold the juice. No. I am here to adopt the dog I was looking at a week ago. 
actually that dog was adopted a few days after you left, but we have so many, like so, so many, like a thousand other dogs. Wait, back it up. The dog is, I'm sorry, gone? Well, yeah, you waited a week to come back for it when someone was able to give it a home much faster, but I can introduce you to like seven other dogs right now. No, 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 no. I thought you had a first come first serve thing. I saw the dog first and I just so happened to go home for a week and think about whether or not I actually wanted it, but I'm here now to take it. So I, I want my dog, thank you, right? And I know you asked at the time for us to, you know, hold the dog for you and we told you no. So I'm not sure why you're confused because this is a business. I'm not sure how you're running a business. It's a nonprofit pet adoption. We want the dogs to get a home. Well, I was going to give it a home if you had just waited. Or how am I supposed to know that you're gonna come back? Do you know how many people say that and actually don't come back? Like, and these dogs have to sit, no. Like, if you don't come back in time and the dog is gone, you lose. I am going to report you. To who? This policy is unreal and I'm not going to adopt any other dog from here ever because F you and F all of your other dogs. Well, that's the thing, like, why are you hung up on this one dog? Like, I get it, like, people fall in love, but like, why didn't you take it home if you if you loved it that much? Because I'm shopping around. I wanna see which one fits my home the best. It's a weird answer. That's just like, I'm, I, I don't really regret what I did. Okay, and I didn't even do anything wrong. Well, screw this place for not being a, a, a business and, and, it, and it caring about animals instead of being a, a business. <laughs> Hey, are your friends still coming for dinner? Yeah, and don't forget Christine has a nut allergy, so we have to be careful. Christine's allergic to nuts? Yeah, like all nuts, like every nut she's allergic to, she can't have. Yes. <laughs> okay. What? Nothing, I just, I, I wish parents would stop encouraging their children to have so many dietary issues. <laughs> What are you talking about? I mean, when I was your age, not everyone had some sort of issue. And now every kid has some sort of allergy. Like everyone has a peanut allergy. No, not everyone has a nut allergy. Okay, well, if it's not nut free, then it's dairy free or it's gluten free. It's just always somebody, somebody has something and I have to keep up. Mom, people literally die from food allergies. And, and you know, that's just something that I just don't believe in. A doctor has confirmed it. Why would you even question it? It's just exhausting to have to make sure that there's nothing that can contaminate a certain child in my house at any point in time. Yeah, you're a parent. That's what you're supposed to do. I'm surprised half these kids don't walk around in those bubble wraps. Well, if people just respected the situation, they won't have to. Well, I was gonna make Reese's peanut butter extra chicky peanut butter for dinner, but why? We've never, you, don't even make those. Just make regular brownies, problem solved. I just thought it would be special, but Okay, thanks. You know, I might be allergic to spaghetti in the future because we've been having way too much of that lately. <laughs> Clean up this room. Did you still want me to give you bangs after this? Yeah, I mean, might as well, right? Cool, I'll get the dye. Girls, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just doing Kendall's hair. Right, okay, does Kendall's mom know that we're dyeing her hair? Yeah, it's fine, she doesn't care. Okay, why are we doing this in the bedroom? There's better lighting in here. Okay, but I don't want you getting it all over the carpet. Don't worry, I put an old towel down. Uh, that's our dining room tablecloth. Mom, I know what I'm doing. Okay, are you sure? Because you're not even wearing gloves. It's fine, I do it at every sleepover. Oh, <sighs> why? I don't know. Can we also bleach the top? No, 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 we're, we're not doing bleach. We already have too many toxic fumes in this room. People do it all the time. It's not dangerous. Okay, but this is my house. Okay, thanks, mom. Let's just wrap it up, okay? I don't want you guys making a mess in here. We won't. Thank you. <coughs> you didn't want to tell her that we're gonna dye your hair next? Nah. I'm picking up an order. Okay, what's the name? Uh, Jones. When did you place the order? Like an hour ago, the app says it's ready. Is there a different name it might've been put under? No. Okay, what did you order? Like a crap ton of pizzas. Sure. Um, okay, well, I actually don't have any to-go orders with pizzas, so it might be possible you ordered at a different location. No, 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 I, this is the one off of 12th. No, that's the one by the mall that's like 30 minutes from here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, if you place your order with them, unfortunately it's not here, but I can put in the order here. Well, can you just like transfer it? Uh, not really, but I can have the kitchen expedite your order, but I thought my order was ready. Right, but at the other location. How does it get here? The kitchen here can make it, I just have to put in the order. Right, but how is my mistake my problem though? Because if you want your food, that's how this works. How much longer do I have to wait? I could probably have it ready within the next 10 minutes. 10? 
I don't understand the point of the app then. Yeah, so I'll go ahead and call the other restaurant and cancel the order so they can refund you. Good, I shouldn't have to pay for this. Well, you will have to pay for this order. It's just you wouldn't have to pay twice. <laughs> Why would I pay twice? You don't, it, you know what? I got it, I'll, I'll deal with it. But I feel like this is more your mistake. I didn't make a mistake, you made a mistake, but I'd rather not pay. Okay, I'm almost done with your eyeshadow. Okay, cool, and then I can do your hair. What is going on in here? Nothing, I'm just doing Emma's makeup. Okay, but it's three in the morning. Yeah, so I think you ladies need to wrap it up. It's time for bed. Okay, we're almost done. Thank you. Is something cooking? Oh yeah, we're making cake. Okay, why? I don't know, we were hungry and we didn't have anything else. There's crackers, I literally bought you guys chips. Sorry, we'll go to bed soon. Okay, are those my weights? Yeah, we were working out. Oh, in the middle of the night? Yes, we're trying to be healthy. We were watching a TikTok and we got inspired, so we wanted to work out. You wanted to be healthy, so you worked out and then made cake. No, we made the cake first. Is she wearing my dress? Mm, yes, I don't even care right now. I need you to turn off the oven, clean this up, and it's time for bed. Okay, fine. We're probably just gonna put on a movie anyway. A movie? No, it's way too late for a movie. But Emma specifically came over so we could watch all the Harry Potters. Why didn't you start Harry Potter at three in the afternoon? Because we weren't ready to watch it then. Yeah, it has to be dark. Right, well, try to keep it down and let's get some sleep. Okay, but would you be mad if we got McDonald's delivered? Yes. What if we got you a McFlurry? McFlurry, it is 3 a.m. Do you think they still have Oreo? Morning. Hey, good morning. Mm-hmm. I am making us breakfast. Mm, I see that. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. All right, did you sleep okay? Yeah, I slept fine. Did you sleep okay? I bet you did. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? Me? Oh, nothing. Yeah, no, I'm not doing anything. I just have a quick question though. Um, who's Kristen? Kristen who? I don't know. You tell me. I don't know of anyone named Kristen. Oh, really? You don't know one Kristen? I think I went to middle school with one, but I haven't seen her. So oh, okay. Well, now the truth comes out. What does that mean? Well, in my dream last night, you left me for Kristen. Well, it was just a dream. Was it? Was it just a dream? How convenient. I mean, I had a dream that I had a toothbrush stuck in the back of my throat, but that wasn't real. <laughs> well, I can make it real. <laughs> I can't tell if you're joking or not. Yeah, totally joking. <laughs> I knew it was just a dream. Okay, because you seemed really mad at first. Well, after all those awful things you said to me in my dream, I think you'd be a little mad too. <laughs> yeah, except for I didn't say those things. Well, you did and you didn't, right? No, but it, it like really wasn't because it was a dream. Mm-hmm. Are you really gonna be mad at me about something that I did in your dream? So you admit it? Admit what? That you wanted to leave me in my dream. Um, no. Oh, can I use this gift card? Of course, it looks like you have about $2 on this card. Oh, great. Yep, so you still owe me uh, 89.16. Oh, um, okay, try this card. Sure, it looks like this card has even less with only 39 cents on it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so now your total is 88.27. Oh, uh, I might have another card in here, hold on. Take your time. I knew I had one, it was at the bottom. Okay, um, this one won't even swipe because it looks like there's like dirt or grime on, on the scan bar here. <laughs> That's okay, can it just count? Well, I don't know how much is on it. Originally it had $50, can you just use that? No, you know what, I'll just scan it and risk breaking the machine. Okay, look, it says you had only 12 cents on that card. I might have a few coins. Great, that'll be 88.15. What, I thought those cards had more money on them. Yeah, I hate when that happens. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> So do you have another form of payment you want to use or? Not really. Right, uh, well, did you want to put some stuff back? Not really. Kind of stand still here then. Well, can I just like owe you or something or you give me like another gift card? I, no, no, to both of those, no. But you wouldn't even have to tell the store. I could just like owe you. You want me to cover you for this? I mean, I come here all the time. Oh, well, in that case. So I'm good to just like walk out with this stuff. Yeah, sure. Oh no, the sensors just went off and the security is charging at me. Is there a reason for that? Oh yeah, because you didn't pay for those and then you walked out of the store. You're stealing. You're a Pisces, aren't you? Uh, no, actually I'm an Aries. Shut up. No, you're not. Okay. Where did you see that? I don't know, the internet probably? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you're just not assertive enough. You don't have the personality of an Aries. Okay. You're a Pisces. You're really sensitive. 
Is that a nice thing to say to someone? Yeah, but don't worry, I'm a Cancer, I'm sensitive too. Cool, well, did you wanna get lunch? Girl, no, if you're an Aries, you and I cannot get lunch together. Why? Uh, because our personalities clash. Okay, I've known you for five years and you just said I didn't have the personality of an Aries. I mean, I can't exactly argue with the stars, but there's always the chance that your mom lied to you about when your birthday is because you're definitely a Pisces. I don't really care or know about this stuff. Oh my God, maybe you're a Libra. What does that mean? You're just so go with the flow. <laughs> What's your moon sign? Crescent? What? I, I, excuse me, can you look up the price on this? Yeah, of course. Hey, there's a lady passed out on the floor over here. Can someone call 911? Oh my god, yeah, what happened? I don't know, I saw her collapse and my phone is dead. We just need to get an ambulance out here. Don't worry, I got it. <sighs> Hi, this is me reporting all of the pertinent information that you need. Thank you, bye. They'll be here soon. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, let me see if we have a blanket or something to put under her neck. Okay, uh, do you mind just helping me really quickly? Uh, yep, just give me one second. I mean, it should only take like three seconds. Okay, someone's like on the floor unconscious. Yeah, but you already called 911. Yeah, but I, I feel like I need to do everything I can. She looks fine. Her face is purple. Yeah, but I had asked you first and I just need to know how much it costs. I, the price tag is on here, girl. It says it's $5. You could have done this yourself. Oh, I didn't see that. Great, I really have to help with this though. Wait, I have a question though. Yes, what question do you have that's more important than someone's life? When is your winter collection coming? In the winter, Don't, get out, bitch. I've been talking to this new guy. Really? Yeah. Who is it? His name's Noah. Noah who? Wait, Taylor or Campbell? It's uh, Noah Taylor. Oh my God. Remember that girl that I had issues with last year because she kept commenting on all my Instagram stuff? Wait, yeah? Yeah. Olivia Taylor. <gasps> That's his sister. Wait, oh my God. No I way. I know, I know. I played softball with her for like 15 years. She actually dated Ava's little brother, Trevor, back in like ninth grade trevor no, no, no not trevor king that's the one that dated samantha samantha elizabeth no, no, no samantha l samantha elizabeth is the one that went to our middle school remember and then oh, she dropped out yeah yeah i actually talked to her the other day really and now she's like best friends with amber henderson isn't that crazy wait, wait, wait amber who oh you probably wouldn't know her i actually went to theater with her actually britney knows her. britney tanner yeah no they were really close at one point but then like something happened in like fifth grade they got in a fight in the playground it was crazy yeah amber's uncle actually used to work with my mom and her older sister does horseback riding with my older sister but anyway so you're talking to noah yeah kind of have you met his best friend mason yet uh no i don't think so <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna love him and his girlfriend tiffany is seriously so sweet but she goes to mcadams she's actually friends with evelyn and mia wait who you know the two girls from soccer yeah i went to evelyn's birthday party last year and her sister harper is she's crazy i know that her her and Thomas White used to hook up. Ew. I think Grayson told me, or was it Jason? I don't know those people. One of the two. Yeah, I think it was Jason, because he's on the McAdams baseball team with George, who used to be in love with Tiffany. Obviously, that was a lot of drama. <laughs> but for real, I love that you're talking to Noah. Yeah. You know, he used to talk to Danielle, right? Uh, yeah. Aren't you guys, like, not cool? Oh, no, no, no. We're fine. Everything's good, Okay. <laughs> Just wanted to double check, because I know Danielle has been running her mouth lately. Wait, wait, wait. About me? Well, I heard that from Jessica. Wait, Jessica Darby? No, Jessica Stevenson. Who? Well, that was in my math class. I can text her if you want. I have her number. Since I've been doing this picky eater series, I found a non-official picky eater test that I'm going to go through. And if you want to do it too, we can compare numbers because apparently you're supposed to add a point every time you won't eat a food. So let's try. And some of these are going to be weird because technically I can't eat them because of an allergy, not because I am too picky, but I'm going to count them as foods that I can't eat just because that's a diet restriction. Okay, so let's go through the list here. Blue cheese, I will not eat. Canned tuna, I will eat. Chicken, yes. Coffee, no. Cooked fish, no. Crab, no. Grapes, yes. Ketchup, yes. Mayonnaise, yes. Mustard, yes. Nutella spread, no. Oysters, no. That's six. Peanut butter, no. Ranch dressing, no. Raw fish, definitely not. Shrimp, that's 10. Snails, <laughs> no. Bread, I'll eat all the bread. So we're at 11. Soy sauce, yes. Tea, yes, I will drink. Vinegar, yes, I will eat vinegar. Carrots, yes. Tomatoes, yes. Cucumbers, yes. Eggs, yes. Cabbage, no. 12. Cauliflower, ugh. I'll eat it. Asparagus, no. 13. Beef, 14. Turkey, yes. Pork, 15. Liver, 16. Brussels sprouts, 17. Why is dark chocolate even on here? Of course I will eat chocolate. Garlic, yes. Lettuce, yes. Broccoli, yes. Zucchini, no. That's 18. Coconut, no. 19. Onions, yes. White chocolate, eh, I'll eat it. Tofu, I'll eat it. Avocado, hell no. That's 20. Oranges, yes. Grapefruit, no. 21. Raisins, since I technically just had these, I won't put this on my no list. Strawberries, yes. Apples, no. That's 22. Wheat bread, yes. Celery, no. That's 23. Mushrooms, yes. Eggplant is 24. Beets is 25. Watermelons, 26. Cottage cheese. <laughs> this is where it gets weird because technically I said I like this, but I haven't eaten it since. Pickles, yes. Peas, no. That's 27. Pineapples, 28. Bananas. 
I'll say I eat them. Milk, yes. Olives, no. That's 29. Yogurt is yes. And beans is 30. Not gonna lie, that was really satisfying that that ended on a 10-digit number. But can you get a number that's higher than 30? I just found this. I literally Googled uh, picky eater test and this came up in the images section. So if you want to do your own, let me know what number you got. Excuse me, where's your bathroom? Over there. Great, thanks. But you can't use it unless you're buying something. Are you serious? I'll be really, really quick. Yeah, no, sorry. You can get something really cheap. Um, all right, I'll just take the pack of gum. Okay, it'll be 349. I'll do card. Oh, sorry, I can't run a card unless you're spending at least five dollars. Are you serious? I just have to go to the bathroom. There's an ATM over there. <sighs> Fine. But there is a seven dollar fee to withdraw money. Oh, come on! And you can only take out cash in increments of 20. So I would be spending 27 dollars so I can buy a pack of gum for three dollars so I can go to the bathroom. I mean, you can always go next door. They have a public bathroom. Oh, ha, good to know. Thank you. Whatever. Did you want to sit inside or outside? Definitely, definitely outside. Great, right this way. Whew, it's hot out here today. Yeah, I'll see if I can get someone to turn those fans on. No, no, it's okay. It'll totally mess up my hair. Okay, well, if you change your mind, just let me know. My God, you think they'd have like AC vents out here or something. Hi guys, welcome in. Have you dined with us before? Lemonade. Oh, uh, great, and for you? Oh, and is there something that you could do about the bugs? Uh, what bugs? There's just like a fly that keeps coming around here every so often. Yeah, no, unfortunately there's not really much I can do. Do you have those bug zappers? Uh, we don't have anything like that, but I could put in a request maybe for the future to get something like that. Well, that doesn't help me right now, does it? I can move you inside. No, we want to sit outside. Did you want to start with any appetizers? Oh, something that's not hot. It's so hot out here. It is, and we do have plenty of seating inside. No, it's a nice day. I want to be able to enjoy the outdoors. Right, well, I will put in those drink orders. I'll be right back. Ow! Are you okay? Something buzzed near my face. I thought it was gonna sting me. Okay, maybe use your menu to wave it away. Be right back. Do you know if it's supposed to rain today? Actually, I'm not sure. Because I thought it was supposed to be nice and cloudy. Uh, well, it doesn't look to be, but it's not enjoyable. <laughs> Do you want to move inside? No, that defeats the purpose of enjoying the outdoors. So is complaining about every aspect of the outdoors. Hey guys. Oh, what? Um, nothing. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Girl, what is that? What? You got something here. Oh my God, I do? Yeah, right there. It's like right in the center. Did I get it? Oh, you just got a little bit like right there. Okay, you're good. God, how long was that there? I don't know. Well, did you guys see it? I, yeah, I mean, but it's okay. No, 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 not okay. You, you need to tell me these things. I just didn't want to embarrass you. I am more embarrassed now knowing that I have been walking around with something in my teeth since lunch. Okay, well, now that you mention it, that shirt looks tacky with those shoes. I didn't, uh, thank you. And your hair looks a little stringy. Okay, I get it. I'd like to leave. This is a reenactment of a really rude woman at the nail salon yesterday. Also, aren't they cute? So I walked in and this is already going on. I want to come in at 6.30 p.m. You know what? That actually won't work because we close at 6. Could you come in at like 5.30? Absolutely not because I close at 6 at my shop over there. So I wouldn't be able to get here until after 6. So, okay, gotcha. Well, we're really slow on Tuesdays and it looks like my last appointment's at 3 o'clock. So I can't have any of my employees sitting around for three hours. Yeah, but I don't close until 6. So how am I supposed to get here at 5.30? That makes no sense i don't understand no sure that's fair that's fine uh could i help you with anything else i mean i just don't understand what i'm supposed to do i need a 6 30 appointment i can't get here till 6 30 6 30 6 30 like the 8 a.m girl i swear to god i hear you the numbers are registering they just aren't available so i cannot hold on my phone is literally ringing during this conversation and i'm gonna answer it hello unless you can come in at 5 30 we're not gonna we're not gonna make this work so yes this is very important information what i didn't catch that because i'm on the phone it's 5 30 or nothing girl oh my gosh i this is i'm pissed and i'm gonna storm out <laughs> and meanwhile i'm just standing here like i'm a way better customer than you <laughs> i get an a plus you lose oh my goodness have you seen they've been putting knives and, and razors in the kids easter eggs this year who's doing that oh i don't know i don't know who would do something like that to such poor innocent children they're putting knives in eggs uh, 
where did you hear that? It was it was on the news. I read an article. Mm -hmm. And where did you find this article? F Facebook? It was a post. Um, okay, I'm just gonna say right now that sounds a little far fetched and ridiculous. No, no, it's it's all right here in an article. But have you seen any other articles written about that? Because anyone can write an article about anything. No, that is not true. Everything is fact checked on here. Wow, that's no, just listen. Okay, I looked it up and I'm not seeing anything regarding that, so I think we're good. Well, you never know, Samantha. Why are you even worried about that? Are you planning on going on an Easter egg hunt this year? No, I, I'm just worried about the children. Somebody has to stop this. You know what? It's already stopped because it's not happening. Oh, wait a minute. Can you go get me my purse? Uh, why? I need my credit card. Are you buying something? Well, it, thank you. I just got a message from my Amazon driver and said that he can't find my house and I have to send him my information. Mom, that's. Not real. Samantha, I just got a message. What do you mean it's not real? Everyone on the internet is lying to you. I mean, not everyone, but most people, and you have to figure out the difference, and you, you can't do that, so give me your phone. Hi, I just got a letter saying I didn't pay my electricity bill. Okay, well, thank you for calling, because we as a rich company are desperate for your money, so uh, what's your name? Sam. Okay, I'm pulling up your information now, and it looks like we do not have a payment for last month. That's so weird. I must have typed in my credit card information wrong or something. I'm so sorry. No big deal. This happens all the time. Okay, awesome. I didn't want you to, like, shut off my electricity or something. Oh, we still might, unless you give us your money right now. Oh, uh, yeah, no, that's why I'm calling. I just wanted to make sure I could give you my credit card information directly this time. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and process that bill of $128. Sorry, I can't believe this happened. And did you want to process that $150 late fee on the same card? What? Oh, and since I got you here, it looks like this month's bill is around 120 if you want to go ahead and add that on for a total of 398 <laughs> But that's almost $400. Also, there is an inconvenience fee of $78. An inconvenience fee? What, for what? Uh, I mean, it's really inconvenient for the wiring and electrician. What electrician? It was just simply inconvenient to have to speak with you and do my job. So $78. Just charge whatever you need to to not shut off my electricity. I already did. I'm supposed to be meeting someone here? Oh yeah, you're welcome to go on back. No, I don't think they're here yet. Oh, okay, well we do close in about 10 minutes, just so you know. Oh, it's fine, I'll just wait till she gets here. Well, did you want me to get you a table now so I can at least get you back there, get you started? Because once it hits 11 o'clock, we're gonna start closing things down. Well, I'm like technically here already, right? Uh, well, that's why I'm trying to kind of give you a table so you can claim your spot. No, no, it's fine, I'll just wait. Okay. Okay, she said she'll be here in about 10 minutes. Okay, well it is 11.15, so we're technically closed now. Um, I'll tell her to hurry. I wouldn't bother. It's fine, it's fine. It'll be like two seconds. Great, but we're not seating any more people at this point. Yeah, no, no, I see you. Just pull in and park right next to me. I'm the only car in the parking lot. Okay, perfect. Is anyone listening? Look to your left. Oh, there you are. Sorry. No, it's fine. Seriously. All right, we'll take a table for two. Okay, did you want me to make you a reservation for tomorrow? Tomorrow? What? No, we're here now. We want to eat now. Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't you remember I said we're closed? Like, closed now. How can you be closed? The bar across the street's open. Then go there. I mean, don't you people want to make money? No, I just want to go home. Hey, does this look okay? Oh my god. What? Is it that bad? No, it's not that. It's just... Are you wearing something underneath those? What do you mean? Well, you're supposed to leave something on. <laughs> what? Why? It's a bathing suit. Because that's disgusting. Girl, there is a hygiene tag in the bottoms, which means multiple people are supposed to try it on. <gasps> Seriously, if you think I look bad, just tell me. No, no, you look great. I would just definitely buy that, though, and wash it a lot. Like, a lot. I don't want this. Right. <laughs> Does anyone want to try one yeah, of these? Yeah, sure, I'll take one. They're actually really good. Wait, aren't you allergic to garlic? It should be fine. No big deal. No, no, I can have them. I just usually don't because they always make my tongue feel like itchy. Do you ever have that? No, no. never, no. Oh, <laughs> I get it really bad. Like, really bad. <laughs> These have a bit of a kick to no, it. No, they They're don't. They're garlic crackers. They shouldn't. Probably because mm. you're partly dying. <clears throat> Ooh, do you have, like, water or something? I feel like my throat is, like, kind of closing. Oh, my oh God. That's really bad. You should it's go fine. I can still swallow. I think my lips actually look slightly bigger. No filler, right? Until they turn purple because you're dying. Well... Ew. Ugh. Usually if I just scream it, it helps. What? Did a doctor tell you that? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. She does this every fine, time. Fine. Take a cracker to wash it down. Are you no. serious? It's fine. I'm not driving you to the hospital again. Me either. Does anybody else's ears itch after eating these? No. It's no. so what? weird, right? All right, guys, I'm actually going to head out early. Go to the you're hospital. Dying. No, um, I'm, I'm fine. You said the um, last time at Olive Garden with the breadsticks. Hey, Amber, where's your nearest hospital? Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you want us to drive I'm good. you? Um, I'm actually just going to drive myself Wait, there. Are you sure? No, I'm good. Are you okay? Those crackers were so good. Can you them to my birthday party? Hi, are you going to order? Uh, yeah, we're ready to put in our drink order. Okay. Uh, yeah, can I get an ice water? Are you sure? Uh, yes, I, I'm definitely sure. As cold as you can make it. Did you also want the check? Not yet, just the drink, please. Whatever. And that's it. Okay, I'll put in your order later. 
I'll do it now. <laughs> Maybe it's her first day or something. Okay, one ice water. Um, what is this? Water. Why did you give me this? It's hard as rock. It's ice. Yeah, but I can't even drink this. Is this a joke? It's what you ordered. I even wrote it down. Ice. Okay, you know what? It's after five anyway, so why don't you just bring me a margarita? A margaret Rita? No, a margarita? It's like your signature drink here. No, thank you. I don't even know you. I don't want your signature. That's- a, you, Okay, just the classic margarita, please. Do you want it frozen? No, let's just not do that again. I'll do it on the rocks this time. Are you sure? Yes. Your order overwhelmed me. I need to go on break. Okay, am I being confusing? Because I feel like this is pretty straightforward. One Mary Garita on the rocks. You're fucking kidding me, right? Jokes are for clowns. There are literal rocks in my drink. It's what you ordered. I wrote it down. Where did you even get these from? They look like they still have dirt on them. My purse. I'm, I'm leaving. Don't forget to leave me a tip. <sighs> okay, my shift's over now. Goodbye. Tony Stark was able to build this in a cave. With a box of scraps! Can I please have the chicken quesadilla? Chicken quesadilla? Sure. Yeah, and can I possibly do that with no tomato? Okay. Yeah, sorry. And can I do it with a spinach wrap? Sure. Let me see if we have any of that. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll just have it the way it is. I've already documented the inconvenience, so it's fine. I'll go put in your order. Can I get the chicken quesadilla wrap but with no tomato? Sure. And can I do that with a spinach wrap? Sure. Are, are you mad? What? Can I get two tickets for the movie? Uh, what movie? A Bug's Life. Oh, I'm sorry that movie's not playing at this theater. And three popcorns, no corn. Oh, actually, you buy candy over there, but we don't have A Bug's Life tickets. That's okay, I'll just sit in the front. Uh, that's not the problem, we're not sold out, we just simply don't have that movie playing. Okay. Did you want to see another movie? Mean Girls just came out. Are there any bugs? Probably not. I, I don't think it does. When will A Bug's Life be available? You know, I'm, I'm not sure, but I bet they do have it on Disney+. Plus. Sorry, I don't do math. No, no, Disney Plus is not an equation. It's an app. When does the movie start? You haven't purchased a movie ticket. Unfortunately, I have an appointment. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry we didn't have what you were looking for here. So, um, have a nice day. There's an ant on you. Ew. It looks like there are bugs here. Goodbye. Bye. Now, if you have any questions about any of the cars on the lot, I'd be happy to help. Okay. Can anyone help me? Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to help. Can I see the cars? The, car well, uh, the cars are all around us, actually. All of these are for sale. And actually, if we want to look in this direction, sorry. Not interested. Uh, oh, did you have a particular car in mind? Yes. Great, uh, well, if you let me know which one, we can grab the keys and take a look at it. Brown. Uh, do you remember the model? Loud horn. Great, uh, you know, all of the cars on our lot do have working horns, thankfully. No. Okay, well, are you shopping for personal use or a work vehicle? Probably for driving. Do you travel a lot? What? Uh, well, how about we take a look around and get a feel for what you're looking for. We can stop. Is your shift almost over? Excuse me? I said, where are the trucks? Trucks? Yeah, you know what? Yes, we have trucks. We have plenty of them over here. Do any of them have the canoes? You know, not currently attached, but you can definitely fit a canoe. I'll take the canoe. You know, we actually don't sell canoes. They don't come with the trucks, but that would be cool though. Two for one. What? Two canoes for the price of a truck. No, nope. <laughs> no. I need one that's fast. The truck or the canoe? Save your questions for the canoe cruise. Yeah, well, why don't we go inside? We can take a look at the computer. One canoe, please. Okay, yeah, nope, can't do that, though. <laughs> canoe who? You. Great. Uh, you know what? Let me introduce you to my coworker right over here. Maybe he can help you a little bit further. I'll just ride in the canoe. Get out of the truck. Is Sam man name or girl? Great question thank you for for bringing this up this topic is something i've wanted to address all the time so kind of embarrassing sam is actually a man's name i know i know crazy like there's no gender neutral names out there it's like just a man's name okay but here's the kicker i actually stole it i took the name from him like that one man named sam i took it so now 
a, a woman is named Sam, so it's a woman's name. That's how it works, I guess. Do I feel bad? No, because there's no other Sams in the world, just me. Does that answer your question? I really hope so, because that was an intellectual discussion. No, I don't think you understand. I'm obsessed. Since I've been trying different fruits and new snacks and things like that, a lot of people have suggested trying smoothies. So today I stopped by Smoothie King and ordered a different smoothie than I normally do. Don't let me fool you. I also got a bigger version of the one that I actually do want and drink. My normal smoothie I get from Smoothie King is the angel, I almost said hair. It's definitely not angel hair, <laughs> angel food which is not like the healthiest one for you, but that's okay. Today, I'm gonna try the strawberry, blueberry, and uh, Greek yogurt smoothie, which is just a slight difference from the one that I usually drink, but I've tried blueberries and they were okay, so I'm gonna try it in smoothie form. Okay, I'm gonna stop stalling. I'm gonna try this. <sighs> Here we go. Okay, I actually like it. And this just triggered a weird childhood memory where I feel like at one point I'm eating blueberry yogurt because this tastes like blueberry yogurt <laughs> because it has obviously blueberries and yogurt in it. Okay, so I only did get one different type of smoothie, so I only have one thing to try right now. I figured I'd rather start slow instead of like buying a bunch of shit that I don't need and won't possibly eat. So I'm really, really happy that I like this and I'm actually, I was really worried that I wasn't, but I'm actually gonna drink all of this and I'm gonna save this one for tomorrow. Okay, so this one is a safe option. Honestly, I would I would definitely order this again. It's officially on my list of things that I will have. Somebody asked me the other day, which I didn't respond to. I couldn't find the comment when I wanted to respond to it, of course. Asked what I've incorporated, the things that I've been trying into my actual daily life or diet, I suppose. It's been really, really hard for me to actually full on be like, okay, now I'm going to start eating these things. It definitely doesn't work like that at all, at least for me. I actually have been eating bananas but the thing about bananas now that i've been eating them more is that i'm also feeling this oral allergy that i have to fruits um from the banana which i thought was weird so of course the one thing that i find that i'm happy with is something that i'm having issues like allergy issues with somebody said it was a pollen thing and that would make sense because i'm really 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 allergic to pollen if you have that issue please let me know because it's very frustrating and i Oh, it stopped, stop, stop. That was my bad. And yeah, so hopefully the blueberries aren't gonna kill me. I didn't seem to have any issues with the berries, so I think this will be fine. And I can have strawberries. I eat strawberries all the time, so I think this is gonna be okay. That just adds, this is what I'm talking about. This just adds to the anxiety of trying new things and feeling like it's okay to eat weird things that I normally eat because the risk or just the scariness of potentially having an issue with it is terrifying, so... I really need to see a doctor. Maybe that's what I'll do. Actually, I made an appointment to see a doctor, so I'm gonna talk to them about all of this. If you are on this journey with me, please let me know some of the things that you've been trying. I saw a couple people said that they have also been trying to try new foods, which is really, really cool. We live once, girl. Let's eat a freaking pineapple. Mm, I do have to try pineapple at some point. I'm just gonna stick with my blueberry <laughs> smoothie. I do kind of feel like everyone in this parking lot is staring at me. That might just be the social anxiety, though. No, they're staring at me. They're definitely staring at me. It's time to go. So until next time, <laughs> cheers. Okay, let's talk about the Runaway series. So I'm gonna address this one last time. Now I know this was kind of an abrupt ending. There was no actual defining end to the story. There was no closure. It was just uh, so sudden and really no explanation for what happened. To be honest, I don't really have a good, exciting explanation or reason besides I really just didn't enjoy doing it anymore. It was taking up so much time to film and edit and write and act out. I just called it quits and I've found more enjoyment in creating other content. And I kind of tried to circle back and bring in like the toxic mom, kind of keep it on topic of what people were enjoying about the Runaway series, minus the actual characters themselves. And that story in itself was very, possibly triggering and traumatic i think like it was really dark and i i just want to move away from that i feel like if i bring these characters back even if it's just for one video or a few videos people are gonna get excited um thinking they're they're gonna come back or people that have no idea who these characters are are gonna be so confused so it's kind of just been too long at this point that i don't even really want to bring them back i'm not even sure to be honest if i 
have the costumes for them anymore. It might have ended up in one of my purge. There was a few times where I felt like I was like, yes, it's coming. You know, I, I, I am gonna do it. I just need a break and I just never came back to it. And that's not cool. You know, I, communication is a cool thing and I wasn't using that. So overall, I'm trying to steer away from portraying such negative people. I thank you for asking because I know a lot of people have and this prompted me to actually answer this question. What are my dogs doing? I love taking new ideas. I love hearing your stories. Just gonna leave it at that. So no more Amberjack and Lily John, RIP, except they're not dead. <laughs> they're out there in spirit. In terms of putting them in a video, um, they will be no more. And I'm coming at you with another personal video. This isn't a skit. I know this is weird for me. And I know this topic is long overdue. And the last thing I wanna do, especially now that I'm coming on here now, um, is try and make this video about me or clear my name or score brownie points for not saying something sooner. But I do just want to make everyone aware that I am 100% in support of Palestine. I always have. I've always tried to repost videos or posts of people that are able to articulate the situation much better than I can just because I feel like that's going to be more productive. I have been donating. I do have links in my bio. I've had them for a while of ways that you can show support. Actually, now I am going to be participating in Pass the Hat. I'm just waiting for a family to be um, linked with. I think holding people accountable is really important. I think holding politicians accountable and people that can make some serious change is also extremely important. If anybody is wondering if I haven't said something to like save my own ass or because I don't want to create negativity, like I don't care about that. Like you can unfollow me, you can block me, like do what you need to do because I'm not changing my stance on this. Like this is how I've always felt. This is how I feel. I'm very adamant about how I feel about this. And as you guys know, in 2020, I was really aggressively radical about the BLM movement. I've always been an ally of the LGBTQ plus community. And I felt like in 2020, I made some pretty aggressive videos that weren't really productive because they were just so like, like, listen to me sort of thing. And so I didn't want to come on here and just do that again. If you don't agree with that, that is why I'm here to just very blatantly state that I will not ever support genocide. I will not support um, the murders, uh, bombings of innocent people. I would assume that that's just, you know, I understand that that's not the case and it is important for people to blatantly come on here and state who they support. And if blocking celebrities, blocking creators is a way that, um, shows your support by all means like do what you need to do and if that includes me i'm not gonna argue i'm not gonna ask you not to i mean this is way bigger than you and me this is way bigger than tiktok like please please by all means and also please just remember politicians vote please also hold people accountable that are in the fucking white house that are literally making laws and you have the opportunity to potentially vote for these laws or against these laws like just stay smart stay safe and free Palestine. This is crazy. I'm about to block him. Wait, what's wrong? What happened? I just had my heart broken, okay? Me and Brad broke up. Oh. I know. Oh. What happened? No, wait, no, no, like, tell me. Did you do it? He did it? Walk me through this. What happened? He got really mad at me because I texted him two times in a row. I feel like you were too good. What? Sam. I'm sorry. But it's like, it's over, right? It's like over. Literally from the beginning, I was so confused why you were with him. Like, I was like, what the fuck? I mean, that's kind of inconsiderate because you remember he saved me from that car accident when I drove off the bridge that one yeah, time? No, like, right. he saved my life. So, I mean, he's basically my hero. I get it. I feel I like you're it. laughing. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm trying not to smile. It's just, I feel, I'm just, like, relieved for you, right? Like, this is a good thing. Good. What? Sam. No, this ruined my life. I'm just trying to be positive. Oh, well, don't pretend like you no. haven't always hated him. No. Remember in gym class when he was trying to bulk up and you told him he looked like a swollen squirrel? No. He had nightmares about that, that for was, weeks, that, okay? Like, just because was, of you. You're, you're saying that out of context. <laughs> <laughs> I just miss him, okay? Okay. People come and go. What? Right? He told me it would be forever. Was like, wait, 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 wait. He just texted me and said everything's fine. Oh, oh good. It was a big misunderstanding. Thank God. I'm just so happy right now. I can't really? believe he's taking me back. See, I told you not to worry. No, you're right. Sam, why do you look mad? No, I'm I'm like, I'm just, there's a lot of emotions that just happened all at once. So I'm just, I don't know how to feel. Well, I'm happy. Um, don't you feel happy? I'm happy to get food. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I meant though, right? Fuck! Find everything okay? Well, I found what I wanted, but I didn't find it for the price that I wanted. Mm. Did you hear what I said? Yeah, sure did. I mean, six freaking 99 for this little freaking thing. This look like, come on, that's ridiculous. Oh yeah, no, for sure. Did you not want me to ring it up then? Well, no, I want it. Oh, okay. I just hate the idea of paying six ninety nine for it. So am I ringing it up for you or no? Uh, uh, like, <laughs> this is just it's unreal. So should I ring it up? I, I can't, you guys, that's, 
too much. Mm -mm. So should I not ring it up? I mean, I guess if this is the price you're forcing me to pay, I gotta buy it. Okay, so do you want me to ring it up? If you freaking have to. I, I don't have to, and you can choose not to buy it. Yeah, but I like turtles. Mm-hmm, you sure? But you don't have to buy it. What? No, I'm buying it. Great, that'll be six ninety nine. Oh, oh, goodness. I just, I just can't find my wallet. Hold on. Okay, here, you said six ninety nine. That is ridiculous. Okay, just a reminder, you picked that item off the shelf and walked it to the checkout counter. Well, you're twisting my arm here. Okay. Well, I'll buy it. Where'd you go? Looks like this is our room. Oh, right next to the ice machine. Oh, this is the aesthetic they went with? <laughs> Can't really see the ocean from here. Oh, great. Another hallway. Mmm. <sighs> I mean, it's nice. I just feel like the one we had last year was a little bit nicer, you know? Second bathroom. I don't think we're going to need that. Oh, no. Oh. I don't know how many people have sat on that couch. <laughs> they don't even have any robes. I thought this place was supposed to be nice. This is not beach weather. Why are there a bunch of old men here? <laughs> not one person. <laughs> All right, smile. Celebration. You're supposed to sit on these? Whose boat is this? I'm not using that. Not up to code. What's wrong? All the channels on the TV are exactly the same. It's not on. Mm -mm, not sturdy. So you want to go down to the beach? Mm -mm. Just gotta check for bed bugs. You never know. There's always something crawling around in these things. You want to go get some food? Mm -mm. What is that? Looks looks like a light. I've never seen a light look like that before. You want to go to the pool? Kids pee in that. Oh, I gotta call housekeeping about that. I hear they have a really good restaurant here. Okay, sure. Want to go to the tiki bar? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, what do you guys think of this dress? It looks so good. Are you no, sure? No, seriously, you look so cute. I love how you did your hair. Do you think the color makes me look washed I, no, out? I love it. It looks so good. I don't like that color on you. Wait, really? No, I'm, I'm serious. I think you should do something a little bit darker. It looks way better on you. You're right. And I would not do the heels. You complain every single time you do the heels. I would do the flats. Plus, they're way cuter. And that cat eye is starting to look like Amy Winehouse, but not in a good way. R.I.P. too soon. Is it comfortable? Yeah, kind of. Like, could you see yourself wearing it all night? Uh, Yeah, I think so. It's not that bad. Okay, yeah. Then I don't see anything wrong with it uh i like the color but do you still have the one that you got for your brother's graduation i think so which one was that again it was sparkly blue it had the spaghetti straps oh that's right yeah. no you should do that one and then you have the heels that your grandma got you for your birthday last year is that gonna look weird though no i think that would look really pretty you should do that i think it's in the bottom left of your closet hold on i'll look here they are girl yes wait i have a pair of earrings that would go so good with that oh cool. i brought them specifically for you i figured they'd match your outfit oh my god, thank you oh my god i love it that is actually really cute on you i could never ever pull something like that off it would not look good on yeah, me yeah it would not really my style anyway but on you it looks really cool thanks wait what why did you dress so cute i thought that's what we were I doing we were doing casual you can just do whatever you want you look way too good i can't be standing next to you hold on i need to change yeah you look good are you girl you didn't even look at the outfit yeah good mm, i would do the longer one it just seems like it just might be a little much it goes past my knees I don't know, that's just me you should have done the shorter dress really why because yeah. girl you have legs show them off hey can i borrow one of your chargers yeah do you need android or iphone hello what android or iphone yeah that's fine okay whatever do you guys want to watch a movie sure yeah and let's get snacks do you guys and... mind if, sorry <laughs> do you guys mind if i face some amanda real quick amanda who hold on she's calling uh, whose baby is that no you guys, Amanda had a baby. Amanda, who, who is that? Wait, who are you? Who are you with? I'm just Jackson and <gasps> Barry. Why didn't you invite me? Oh my god, can we just start the movie? She says hi. What should we watch? Legally Blonde? Yes, Legally Let's Blonde. Let's just watch Legally Blonde. Wait, what movie is this? Jennifer Coolidge <laughs> is the funniest, I swear to god. Oh, no, no, sorry. I was just, I got a funny text. Shh. Wait, sorry, has anyone seen my water? No, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. What? Is she talking to us? I don't think so. Oh my god. Yeah, that's so crazy. She has no idea what we're talking about. Oh, no, here it is. I found it. Sorry, guys. We can start the <gasps> Oh, my movie. God. Check out this new Snapchat filter. Weird. Ew. No, no, look. look no, look, I know. Look. I saw it. I just want to watch I, the movie. Yeah, they're putting out a new album. Wait, what? I know. How do you know? No, I just saw it. They literally just posted it like two seconds ago. I can't believe I was actually online to be able to see it. What are the odds? Hey, ladies. Saw you from across the bar and just wanted to bring you a couple drinks. Oh, um, th thank you very much. No problem. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> What's the matter? Uh, nothing. Thank you. Come on, aren't you gonna take a drink? Not, uh, not right this second. No. <laughs> 
something wrong. It's just that it was already open when you brought it to me, so I just don't feel comfortable drinking it. What? No, I just bought it from the bar. Yeah, no, I hear you, and I'm sure it's fine. I just would rather be safe than, you know, sorry. Sorry about what? Okay, it's nothing personal. It's just that you're not supposed to take open drinks from strangers at a bar. Oh, come on. Uh, it's not like that. I'm just trying to buy a girl a drink at a bar. Is that a crime? It's not. Just, I mean, I could go with you if you want to exchange the drink. It's just, I don't want this one. <laughs> well, that seems like a slap in the face. It shouldn't. <laughs> Sorry, you feel that way. I mean, do you know how hard it is to put yourself out there and talk to a girl at a bar? I'm not going to risk my life for your ego. Do I look like the type of person that would do that? I don't know, because I don't know you. Well, see, that's the problem with you ladies. You think everyone's out to get you all the time. Mm-hmm. Freaking pathetic. Yeah, you seem like a real nice guy. So then we tried out this new restaurant down by the water. Wow, that reminds we... me of the time my husband and I had dinner by the water and we saw a couple break up. Oh, yeah, no, I think <laughs> it was just a whole scene. I'm telling you, everyone in the restaurant was looking and we were there. I think it was with our cousin, cousins. right? Oh, yep, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I might have told you this one before. But yeah, we were we were having mm -hmm. a good old time. And all of a sudden we heard screaming from the other table. And, you know, John turned mm -hmm. around and he had to, you know, see what was going on. And uh, so crazy. Well, this is the craziest part. You are not going to guess what they broke up. over. Yeah, no, I remember. I remember when we talked about this Remember, like last week. Yeah, and... yeah, yeah. It was because of the cake <laughs> they didn't want to get carrot yeah, cake no, he and told me this story before oh no i have i'm so sorry <laughs> no, it's okay i do it all the time so well you can we... only imagine how upset the server was when they came out and they saw the whole mess from the dinner and they were bringing a cake for his birthday they, yeah, yeah it was yeah mm -hmm. i just couldn't believe it how come every single time I pick a restaurant, you have to have a problem with Shut it? Shut up. No, yes, you do. I, I do Every not. single time. Well, yeah, because you pick the same crap every single time. No, I yes, don't. You do. Yes, you do. I, I always don't. tell you, I want spaghetti. Spaghetti, spaghetti, Ew. spaghetti. And you always make me have... Are you really going to say that to me right now? Are you kidding me? I'm not you kidding. You know my uncle died of a great spaghetti stroke. How are you going to say that? That's not a thing. like um, Olive Garden. I don't even care got... where we go at this point because I'm not eating around him. Good. I'll save money. No, You're embarrassing really, me in I... front of my friends. You know what? Whatever. Whatever. I'm just going to drive us all off a cliff. How does that Please do. I hate you. Oh my god, you look just like Shakira, no, no, you're Catherine Zeta, actually, my name's Marina. Did you find everything you were looking for? Yeah, I think so. Did you need me to get that tag off your shirt? Uh, n uh no. Okay, uh, are you sure though? Because our alarms are, are definitely going to make that go off. Actually, uh, it's just a pen. Wow, no way, I totally believe you. It's crazy though, because it looks just like our security tags. Oh uh, yeah, no, this this is my shirt. Okay, we're doing this. Uh, your total is $40. Great, here's my money, goodbye. Yeah, uh-huh, I'll see you soon. Okay, wait, what? I just checked out here. You know I'm good, right? I can I can go. Oh, sorry, the policy says I have to double check. You know, I can't, I, I'm in a rush. I gotta get out of here, so if the system goes off, it's probably because of you, not me. It's probably the security tag on your shirt. Actually, that's impossible. Mm -mm. Okay, well, good luck this time. What was the deal with that lady? Oh, she's trying to steal that shirt. Are you gonna try and stop her? What the hell am I gonna, no. What? I mean, you should do something. I asked if she wanted me to ring it up, she said no. I thought I'd clean this place up, but um, I can go ahead and give you a, a, a tour. Oh, watch out, um, just right this way. Ignore the mess, just don't look at anything. <laughs> Push through the, the dog gate. Get down. They don't normally do this. This is June. She's scared. June eats from the black bowl in the morning and the silver bowl in the afternoon. And Ellie is the same except for a reverse. But if you mix this up, they will throw up in each other's bowls. And it's it's kind of a gross thing. So just make sure you're paying attention. And please do not give them any water from the sink. It's just not good for them. Um, they actually prefer just regular chicken broth. Hopefully no one comes to the door because that is going to set off a whole thing. You don't want to be here for that. They have two snakes, but they're only allowed to play with the black ones. So if you do catch them with the yellow one, that is a time out. One second. <laughs> Sometimes these things are... Oh, easy peasy. Uh, they really should be in bed before 11 or else they have really bad dreams. They literally shriek and scream in the middle of the night. It's, it's really scary if you don't know what it is. So Ellie, um, Ellie, Ellie, oh, there you are. <laughs> I never know where they are. And you know, they do throw up a lot. I'll leave the paper towels out. The best way to get the dogs to go to sleep is to plug in this hot iron. They won't go up to it or burn themselves or anything like that, so you don't have to worry. The heat causes a sense of calming and, um, you know, it's a doctor thing. Oh! oh my goodness. She just missed me. She never does that. This is June's favorite plant. You know, if they fight you on going to bed, all you have to do is say, line up for bed. Line up and they'll they'll go. They're not doing it now because they're you know they know it's not bedtime, but they'll do it for you for sure. Get down. She really doesn't do that. I don't know why she's doing it. Oh, and 
Did I just hear someone howl? We have a no, they know, they know we have a no howl rule. No howl rule. What's going on? They're basically children. <laughs> it's a madhouse here, but you'll love it. You open the store, they will run out. Oh my God, no. Thank you for agreeing to watch these dogs. They are wild. <laughs> Hey, how's the game? Well, the safety point just punted a fumble on the 40-yard touchline and gave him a 30-second flag against the kickoff Josh oh. Allen. Four penalties until halftime, and they can't even pass the defensive yard yeah. without Jalen Hurts intercepting the extra point. They're never going to line back the tackle with a minute left in the receiver zone. Okay. He just punted a six-yard tackle over the field line to penetrate the offensive point on the sideline with no <gasps> end zones. 14-76, to 76, and okay. they run Travis Kelsey a flag um. in the wide end, and they give the quarterback a kick to the touchdown for a point to Mahomes. Mm -hmm. Is that when they throw it? No, that's when they run a defensive penalty, oh. but only for 20 seconds. Okay. And look, that's when Devontae Adams runs a blitz for the 80-yard pass the ref. Right. Uh-huh. But no flag. The we just got to reach down. the extra point. Oh. Okay. No, touch line. And the Raiders need a new semi-pro passing offense or they're going to lose. I'm sorry? No, 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 no. That's a good thing. They're on a 12-0 champion interception. Okay. And Notre Dame just suspended the Aaron Rodgers draft in Is time for the- Is anyone playing at the halftime show? What? No, that's just for the Super Playoffs. I don't know. I thought, I thought there was a- a concert. You're making any sense. Oh. So you're the new girl? I'm the what? The new server? Yes. Okay, great. Well, you're shadowing me today. Oh, okay, sorry, but no thank you. Cool. Well, <laughs> the manager told me I have to show you around, so let's start in the back. I only go forward, not back. I'm at the back of the restaurant. Have you ever worked in a restaurant before? Um... Is that a no? <sighs> When do I get paid? Uh, when you clock in, which I haven't been able to show you how to do yet. What day? We get paid on Fridays. Okay, well, unfortunately, I won't be available. Great, well, it goes directly to your bank account, so I, I don't know what you're talking about. I can do Saturday. Girl, I am not in charge of payroll. I'm just here to show you around today, so let's at least get you clocked in. I've got a clock, thank you. Great, well, I'm just going to clock in for you because this is weird. And what did you say your name was? Hello? Hi, how are you? Were you looking something? My paycheck. Yeah, well, you're not going to get it because you haven't done anything yet. Thank you for coming in. Have a nice day. Whoa, okay. Well, how about I give you the menu to study and you can take this home and decide if you really want this job. Okay. I'll have the tacos. Are you really trying to put in an order? We don't even have tacos. With BBQ sauce, hold the second B. <sighs> I'd also like my paycheck. Yeah, when was your next shift? Unfortunately, I quit yesterday. Happy New Year. Happy... what? So, when are you having children? Oh, well, I'm so glad you asked again, Aunt Shannon. I'm not. Well, I know not right now, but when? When are you? That would be never. Uh, what is she doing? Is she joking? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Honey, I don't understand. Uh oh, <laughs> well, let me clarify again. I'm not having children. Honey, do you have a drug problem? <laughs> I sure don't. I just don't want them. Well, doesn't that seem a little immature? You're almost 30. Or maybe it's immature to have a child when you know you don't want one. <sighs> what are we supposed to do? About what? Well, <laughs> I think we were all expecting a baby. That is weird. You know, I read about your generation that you don't want to work, you don't want to have kids. <laughs> they just want to sit around and hang out with that marijuana pots. <laughs> that is what it is. That's it. Oh, and how will you tell your mother? Don't know if you realize this, but I've been saying this for years. So this isn't the first time this is coming up. You thought you'd grow out of it. it. Once you found a nice man, you'd settle down a little bit and, and have kids. That's what you do. I'm sorry, who does that? I don't. That's not me. I don't do that. In fact, I have two dogs that are already driving me absolutely insane. Up the wall, actually. And I'm considering getting a third, so I've lost my mind. I don't need a kid in my house. <laughs> There, there, calm down. Uh-oh. she crying? You are selfish. You are taking this away from me, from your mother, and from your Uncle Buck. Wait, who the hell is Uncle Buck? There are so many women out there that would love to have a child, and you are just throwing that opportunity away. But who is Uncle Buck? I mean, what else do you have to spend your money on? Avocado toast? No, seriously, does anybody know who this man is that she's referring to as a family member of ours? Anyone know a Buck? 
But Uncle Buck, I met him on my online dating app. Why would he have anything to do with this? Because he understands the value of family, unlike you. Hey, what are you doing in the afternoon? Like this afternoon? I have to work. What? What time do you have to work? I'm scheduled for about four to midnight. Okay, so you need to call and tell them that you're not coming. Why? Uh, because I haven't seen you in so long and I want to go out tonight. Girl, it's a Thursday night. I know, we should go to World of Beer. Yeah, sorry, I can't, but I can go Friday or anytime this weekend. No, come on, it's just easier for me to do things spontaneously, so I just want to go now. I'm so sorry, I just can't take off work. But you're always working. <laughs> yeah, girl, I'm trying to pay off my student loans. Ew, well, why can't you just, like, ask your dad for help? My dad is dead. I just haven't seen you in a really long time, and I just want to make some time to see you is all. Yeah, then let's pick a day that we're both available. Girl, just use your PTO. Uh, yeah, no offense. I just feel like this isn't the sort of thing I'd want to use my PTO on. I'm trying to save it. I mean, like, but how are you going to expect to have friends if you're never available to hang out with anyone? I'm available on the weekends. Are you not working? No. Okay, well, I have to, so. Oh my god, whatever, you're so lame. Nice talking to you. Hi, I'm looking to buy a dress. Fantastic. What is your price range? Yeah, I was thinking maybe like $200, $300, somewhere in between that. I have the perfect options for you. You wait here. I will be RB. <laughs> cool. I trust you. Okay, I am back with options. Oh, I really like this red one. That one? That one would be beautiful. Go try it on. Go. Okay. Um... Wow, oh my god, I fell in love. I love it. Success. Um, how much was this one again? That one was marked down to, I believe, four. Four... 4D? Like $40? 4D with another zero. 400. Zero, zero. That's so weird because I said I specifically didn't want to go anywhere near or above $300. But uh, yeah, no, this is out of my price range. Can I see something else in my price range, please? You know what? I have another option for you. I, I know. I know what to do. Hold on. Okay, I trust you a little less this time. This is the one. You know, like try it on. I can't even let you walk out of this store without putting this shit on. How much does this cost? Try it on. Try it on. I can just look at the price tag. Well, I was gonna take a percentage off, so don't look at that. 1200 fucking dollars. Well, I was able to apply a discount of about 2% off, so it's gonna come down like a little, a little bit. A little bit as in like down to $200. Well, let me see if I can find you some other options. No, no, um, this has been a waste of time. Thank you. I'm sorry, you're leaving? Yeah, yeah, you suck. <laughs> Thank you so much for interviewing me. Yeah, I'm just going to ask you a few questions to get to know you better. For sure. Yeah. Okay, so tell me about yourself. Okay, um, well, for starters, I've been in the field for 10 years now. and Oh, last no, no, no. Year, I just mean, like, tell me about yourself. You know, oh, you. Um, yeah, <laughs> for sure. Well, I have a, d a dog. I shop at Winn-Dixie. I used to live next to a 24-hour subway. That, that was... That was that was nice. <laughs> I do have hair appointments every so often. I like birthdays. <laughs> Sorry, is this what you were- Don't overthink it. Just tell me about yourself. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. About, like, myself. I, um, I'm really, like, a, a lot like everybody else. Well, no, I'm not. <laughs> That's, I'm, I'm above everybody. I'm not above everyone. I'm, I'm just, I'm myself. Right, and can you describe yourself? Um, confidently unsure a lot. <sighs> I did get sick as a kid, just- Oh no, tell me about that. Well, I mean, like, I had, you know, like, a, a cold a few times. I, I just, oh, okay. Sorry, I, I definitely had it together when you when you brought me in. I just, I feel like I got totally thrown off by that question. Kind of out of left field there. <laughs> it's fine. I like Twizzlers. Why is this so fucking hard? Uh, sheep? Uh, that's nothing. I miss the eclipse. I always use coasters, and I, I like picture frames. Candles are good. How about you tell me about a task you've overcome? Okay, um, gosh, I made easy mac and cheese once and forgot to put the water in and it almost set my whole house on fire. Oh. I don't think that was the right story. You're right. I definitely didn't know the alphabet as a kid until it was taught to me. Right, okay. <laughs> what time? Two o'clock? Almost time to... Pick up my prescription. I don't know why I said that. I'm so sorry for wasting your time. I clearly need to. Yeah. I'm probably gonna head out. Yeah, but it was me so too. So nice seeing you guys. It was so fun. Hey guys.
Hi. Uh, hey. You're what? here. What? No, nothing. I, I just am surprised you're here. What are you talking about? You invited me. I know, but I, I didn't think you were actually coming. <laughs> no, I know. I texted you and then I was on my way. Girl, that was four hours ago. I mean, I just had to stop and get gas really quick and then I had to get coffee, but I told you I was on my way. I know, but you live right down the street. Yeah, well, then my mom asked me, she texted me and was like, can you stop at Target? So I did. And then I saw my old teacher there, so I had to like say hi. It was a whole thing. It ended up taking like way longer than I wanted, but yeah, no, I. I mean, I hear you, but we were actually about to head out. Yeah, I gotta go. Well, you guys can't stick around for like a little bit longer. I just got here. I mean, do you guys still want to get lunch? Lunch? No, sorry, no. It's no. like five o'clock right now. I mean, we could still, it could be like a really late lunch. No, sorry. We got chilies earlier. Without me? You guys didn't wait? You're kidding, right? You could have texted me and said that you were going. I texted you three times and called you. Well, okay. Um, I mean, I just got here. Was everyone really going to leave? Well, we've been hanging out for like five hours, so it's good. Yeah, I gotta go. It's not that late. And wasn't Janelle going to tell us about a new friend? Yeah, that's one of the things we talked about at lunch. Guys, you did everything without me. What the heck? You were four hours late, bitch. What are these little numbers on the side? That would be the cost of the meal. You're telling me it's $12.99 for a Caesar salad? So this is actually gonna be our full portion, but we do have half salads for half the cost. Still, that's ridiculous. Did you want me to give you a little bit more time? I don't remember this restaurant being this expensive. Yeah, well, we actually switched management about a year ago and they made some changes. Well, that's too bad because this all looks badly on you. Me? I mean, I'm sure you're gonna expect a tip for this too, right? Um, well, that's entirely up to you. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the Caesar salad, the full portion with chicken for $7.99. Uh, well, I don't believe that I have a salad that costs- No, 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 I know. I know how much it costs. I'm telling you this is how much I'm willing to pay for it or I'm gonna walk. Okay, well, I'm sorry we weren't able to meet your expectations today. I can take your menus back. So you're gonna lose a long-time customer over $5. Is that right? Well, you know, I don't have any control over the pricing and if this is something you're uncomfortable with, that's totally fair. Don't insinuate that I can't afford this. I'm, I'm just saying that I can't negotiate prices, so this is set cost. Last chance, I'll do half a Caesar salad with half a sandwich for $6.99. Take it or leave it. You know, actually, Panera has a deal just like that. There's one right across the street. Then I would have gone to Panera. Okay, I'm sorry. Is that all you have to say? Unless you're ordering something. I'll take a water and a complimentary bread. Coming right up. You guys still doing okay over here? Um, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, well, I mean, those kids over there have just been screaming and playing their iPad really loud this whole time, so it's been a bit disruptive. Oh, yeah, you know, I'll ask them to turn it down a little bit. Okay, thank you. Hi, guys. Another sweet tea. Yeah, of course. And can I ask that you guys just turn the iPad volume down just a little bit? Yes? No! It's not that loud. Well, we just don't want it to disrupt any of our guests, so if you don't mind just turning it down, or if you have headphones. Honey, do you have kids? Do I? No. Okay, so you have no idea what you're talking about, so how do you have the audacity to tell me what to do with my kid? No, 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 I'm not. I just, I want to make sure that everyone is having a pleasant experience in the restaurant. Oh, for the love of- Sparrow, turn down the volume! S Sparrow! I said turn up- Give it to me! Turn it down! No! Don't you tell no! me no! Give me the iPad! No! Stop! Leave me alone! You are not hey! getting this back until Stop! you eat your grilled cheese! No! I'm not eating it! Oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> Now look what you did! You Do you think the situation is any work. better? I HATE YOU! I just asked the volume to be turned down. Well, now he's upset. I can see that. And hear that. Barrel, honey, if you stop crying, I'll get you Wendy's on the no, way home. No, 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 no. Or five guys, we can get you a milkshake. Cold stone! Once again, if you just lower the volume. Well, what am I saying? Sparrow, just take the iPad and be quiet. Any other parenting advice? Um, no. no excuse me. Yes. You never got me a sweet tea. You guys never turn the volume down. 